everybody, it's me, Rebecca, the Bucks of Boss Lady, and I am here after my first week of quarantine. I guess we're not officially quarantined, but we are supposed to stay home for the foreseeable future um, for this COVID-19 virus that's going around. So I have been looking at alternate ways to get inventory, and one of the companies on Instagram, it's called Jomar, J-O-M-A-R Stores, sent me um, a message just letting me know that they are going to start offering some of their um, items for resellers to purchase and they're gonna ship them to their home. So I ordered a clothing box from them and I haven't received it yet, but I did just get the shoes that I ordered. Now the pricing on their shoes are just about the same as the pricing on ThreadUp. I think the only dis difference is that um, ThreadUp charges um, nothing for shipping. I think shipping's included, um, but then Jomar does charge for shipping. So the shipping for two boxes, um, was uh, $70, so $35 a box, which they're pretty heavy. They both have 25 pairs of shoes in them. I've shipped a lot of stuff with my resale boxes, so I definitely know that that's a reasonable um, shipping cost. So um, I'm just gonna show you some of the shoes that they sent me. I um, I definitely would like to compare this to ThreadUp, so you, many of you have watched my other thread up videos and this is really no different. I'm just gonna go through, show you some of the shoes that I got um, and the condition and things like that and then let you know you know, I, if I'm gonna purchase again. So thread up actually right now is sold out of a lot of their rescue boxes. If you go to like threadup.com um, and you go to their rescue thing, most of them are sold out. The shoes are sold out, the, the purses are sold out. So most of the stuff that's left are clothing. Um, they had like scarves, goodie boxes, men's stuff. And um, what else do they have? Oh, like do-it-yourself jeans and shirts and stuff, which is just damaged stuff they're trying to get rid of. Um, so without further ado, they these came and it was nice because they were um, packaged together with like either rubber bands or the little um, plastic thingies that hook them together. Um, there wasn't any tissue in there, there wasn't any protection, but usually ThreadUp, um, they don't either. And ThreadUp leaves a lot more room in the boxes for them to like move around. These were packed um, really well in these boxes here. So they, I don't think there was a, a lot of opportunity for the shoes to move around or anything or to um, you know get messed up. The other thing is um, this box is a lot smaller. So they are condensing the shoes into a smaller box, whereas the thread out boxes, I don't know if you can really see, but way back there by my refrigerator is a huge box. Um, and so thread up usually puts 25 pairs of shoes in a gigantic box. Um, so this size box is nicer. It's also easier for me to bring in the house when Aaron's not home. Um, so that just makes it a little bit easier. Um, okay, and oh, one more thing. I started working on my own um, Shopify store. So you will eventually, hopefully by the end of this week, be able to go to um, bexabossladyshop.com and be able to buy any of these things. The prices on my website will be the best. They're gonna be lower than eBay, lower than Poshmark, simply because I only have to pay credit credit card processing fees. Um, I don't have to pay, you know, the 20%, the PayPal fees, everything to all of the different providers. So if you want the best price on my stuff and you want to check it out, um, you can definitely head over there. Just keep checking back. I should have it up and running um, in the next few days. So, um, all right, let's get going. So these are adorable Topshop, like snake heels. Um, these are a size 38. One thing is that they, they, okay. So the one thing is a lot of people ask when I buy thread up boxes, um, people, they don't know who I am. I'm not like, you know, they don't reach out to me. So the only thing is with this is, you know, they do, they did know who I was, um, who I am. I mean, and, um, they did pack the box. So I, I'm curious to see as other people are ordering them and I'm get to see what's in their boxes, if they're going to be similar, you know, quality as the ones that I'm getting. Um, but these are nine West. They're brand new. They're a size eight. They look like they've just been worn in the store. They might've been like the sample shoe. 
Um, these are really cool. I don't really, I've never heard of this brand. Um, I'm wondering, it's called Nature Breeze, but they're like little faux cheetah with the star on them. Um, I don't know, I thought they were kind of cute. Little sneakers. These are a size nine. Um, I will say one thing, the condition of these shoes is a little bit better than the thread up shoes. So here's an example. Um, actually, I have some thread up shoes here that I've been trying to clean up. These are Donald Pliner sandals and they were like filthy. The suede was filthy, things like that. Um, one of the other thing with the thread up boxes is a lot of the shoes don't have sizes. So I'll be curious to see as I go through these, you know, are these going to have sizes or not? Um, okay, this brand is also new to me. This is L-O-Q, Look, um, Look maybe. Um, and it's a 38 and these are just patent leather, square toe, ankle booties. Um, okay, these are Dolce Vita, cause I was like, what are these? But they're, um, I don't really know what these are. They're Dolce Vita. Like, I, this is not my style, so I don't really know what, I, it's like a whip stitch on them. But I don't know if they're a loafer or they're, I feel like a high top. But, but they do need cleaned up. So, you know, you can see around the side. But that's going to be normal. Anytime you buy used shoes like this, you know, you're going to have to put in the work to clean them up a little bit. Uh, the only thing that I really see on these is that one of the whip stitch things is coming loose, but you know, whatever. Um, okay. Next up, I got these splendid suede mules slip-ons. These are cute. Um, just navy blue classic shoes, basic. Um, okay. These are Maripé and these are made in Italy and, um, this style, I've seen a lot in the high-end department stores with the open front down here. Um, but these are nice. They're leather, they're silver. They're a size 39, made in Italy. Uh, yeah. I love these rose gold Birkenstocks. I've never owned Birkenstocks. Um, I can clean those toe bed. And what I use a lot to clean the shoes is this stuff, this angeles um shoe cleaner as you can see i this is like my 15th bottle of this stuff but i use that a lot to clean the shoes the so these are rose gold they're a size 36 and these will sell really quickly all right we've got these are like i'm island shoes they're called the the island art gallery okay so i don't know how to look these up but they're just like a strappy sandal. They do have a size on them, so they're 37. These are split, no, Saludos booties, ankle booties. Wait, are these coming in? All right, we got these really adorable red vans. And when they're dirty around the edges, it's, super, it's very easy to clean this up. You can use nail polish remover. You can use that um, easy eraser. You can use that stuff I just showed you. There's all sorts of stuff that you can just run right around here to clean these up. Um, these are a size five and a half. Men's five and a half, women's seven. Okay, I have a pair of these in my store right now, but now I have a blue pair. So these are Everlane loafers and they're a size seven. I should see if I like these and wear them a little bit. Those seven's my size right now. Um, all right, some other good ones. These Geox. Um, again, size need cleaned up a little bit, but I think they're supposed to be that off, like a cream color because you know that you want it to. You don't want them to be bright white when you have these other kind of colors in here. So I'm just gonna clean those up. But these are Geox, size five, U.S. size five. So they're a smaller size. Um, let's see, these are just Via Spagas, these are Steve Madden. Um, I've seen a ton of stuff for these birdie shoes, but I've never actually, um, like seen them in person. So these are faux fur velvet nine and a half, like smoking slippers with the fur in them. Um, so these are birdies. 
Um, I love these. They're like cheetah ABS shoes. They're too bad they're a size eight, but they've got like a gold cheetah head on them. Some Madewell mules. I got Madewell mules. These are a size nine. They are maroon velvet. Um, tangled Nike, some Nike leather sneakers. Again, need cleaned up, but these are really cute. Mm, they're a size six and a half. And then, you know, there's the basic like Franco Sardo, which are fine. You know, they're not really high dollar sellers. Um, I've never heard of these, but I'd imagine they're like a soccer shoe. Um, they're called Aprix. Aprix. Like some kind of soccer skater shoe. 42. My guess is they're men's maybe? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Um, some Madewell loafers. And you know, they look like you're going to open the box and be like, oh my God, they look like this. But once you take the rubber band off and you, you know, buff them up and put some um, Doc Martens on them or saddle soap or any of that kind of stuff on these and poof them up a little bit, you're going to make them look really nice. So, um, you know, don't be afraid when they come out of the box and they look kind of, you know, messed up that you can't fix them up. So for me, you know, they were $5 plus shipping, which is fine. That's actually way less than I've been paying here in Connecticut for shoes. So for me, this is a great deal. Now, if you can go to the bins and get them for a dollar or you guys have dollar days somewhere, you know, maybe this isn't the best, you know, bet for you, but for me and for where I am right now, um, I love selling shoes. If you watch any of my videos, they're my favorite thing to sell. And honestly, I've been super disappointed that I haven't been able to get a lot here. Um, so I, you know, I'm very excited that I have another, you know, resource for that. These are like free people ballerina slippers. They're um, like a black metallic gray. They're 37. Um, these are another brand that look like, you know, they look like Ken's actually. I've never heard of that brand. Fayou, Fayou, I'm gonna have to look it up. That's the other thing, you get all sorts of brands that you, you know, I know a lot of shoe brands, but I don't know them all. And so you get some brands that you need to look up and you learn about um, for, you know, $5. Okay, these are just, so Zara, there's a bunch of Zara shoes in here. Um, Supergas are in here. I've got some Nike dad shoes in here. I don't even know how to say this. Harash. Harashes. I would never wear these in a million years. I just don't like chunky shoes. I feel like I'm really short. So my short legs and chunky shoes, it makes me look, you know, even more short than I am. Shorter than I already am. Um, what else is in here? These are Joy. Joie. I'm sorry. Joie wedges. I really like these. The leather. They're a size 39. Um, let's see. Other, and other stories. I got some black flats from them. Um, I have several pairs of these. The Super Adidas um, Superstars. I got Allbirds back here. I've got some Ugg slippers. I've got green Allbirds. So overall, I'm really, I'm happy with this. Um, Stuart Weitzman shoes. I've got um, AGL flat, like thigh high boots, which no idea how I'm gonna take pictures of those. Um, and I have Comte de Contiers. These are really nice, expensive shoes, leather. So I'm very happy with this box. Um, you know, based on what I got, I definitely would recommend them. It's Jomar. Jomar, J-O-M-A-R stores.com. Um, like I said, they didn't pay me to do this review. I bought all of this stuff at the same price that you guys would. Um, I believe they're setting up a Shopify store also for their website. Um, between this and ThreadUp, I have to say, I prefer these shoes better. You know, I have a whole bin over here. I've previously, I just bought three boxes of thread up shoes. So that's 75 shoes. 
And I would say out of the 75, there's probably 10 pair over there that I'm redonating that were like, you know, forever 21 or they were broken or they don't have a size and I can't figure out, you know, there's like a weird thing or they're just really dated. Um, and so, you know, I have a whole pile of that, you know, and then I have a whole pile of things that I need to um, buff and, and get fixed and fix, you know, clean up the suede and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, that's going to be, that's time consuming and, you know, that's just, it's time consuming and I'm trying to eliminate all of that kind of stuff that I'm doing, um, and, and have better control of my time. So this seems to me, there's less work to do on these shoes. I like these brands better. These brands go, um, into my closet. They'll integrate really well into what I'm already selling. So, um, yeah, thanks so much. I'm sorry. My washing machine just started going in the back. Um, it's on its rinse cycle. So unfortunately you can hear that quite a bit. Well, I'll do this to say goodbye. And um, as always, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I will talk to you next time. Bye.